hey what is up YouTube welcome to another laptop repair video today we're gonna take a look at this Alienware 17 R4 and the issue here is when you turn it on it turns back off as you can see I already pulled out the drives so when you turn it on it turns itself back off after the fans spin for a few seconds as you can see alright it basically turns on but it doesn't stay it turns back off right away so we're gonna go ahead and uh, troubleshoot this and see if we can find what's wrong with it I removed the drives I took out the screws I think it's 13 screws to remove the inner panel alright so I just removed the inner panel as you can see here I did a video on how to disassemble this laptop so if you want to check it out I will pin the video on the top right corner so I'm suspecting the power button to be defective but I'm not sure yet so I'm gonna have to take a look at that first uh, before going any further in order to get to the power button I'm gonna have to remove the motherboard because the connector to the power button is on the other side as you can see alright so the motherboard is flipped as you can see here it was a lot of work uh, again I would be pinning a video on how to disassemble this laptop on the top right so you can follow the instructions uh, but here is the board for the power button along with this ribbon cable so it's still uh, uh, sending the power on signal but for some reason it turns off right away so we're gonna go ahead and give this a try I'm gonna reconnect it if I'm able to reconnect the battery alright so I removed the power button as you can see alright so the power button is connected let's uh, give it a try I can actually see a small burn on the PCB right here next to the power button hopefully this is what caused the problem so we can go ahead and replace the power button and the uh, small assembly and potentially fix the issue if I was to guess what caused this damage I can only think of static electricity I will link an article on how to avoid static electricity in the video description so you can keep your electronics safe so I decided to just buy a brand new power button and here it is so let's go ahead and get it out the package So here is the brand new power button. And as you can see, the comparison between the two. So it's the same thing as you can see. Alright, so let's go ahead and install this and see if this is going to solve the problem.
uh, before I put the back panel on, I'm gonna give it a try. This is gonna be the moment of truth. So let's go ahead and turn it on. I'm gonna connect the charger. The power button is lit up as you can see. So let's go ahead and turn the computer on. Alright, we boot up. Alright, it is not shutting down anymore. So it looks like we successfully repaired this problem. So now we are in business. So it was indeed a dead power button as you can see here and replacing it with a brand new one solved the issue Alright, so as you can see, we successfully diagnosed and fixed the issue, and it was indeed a faulty power button, as you can see here, and ordering a brand new button and swapping it out did solve the issue. So if this video was helpful, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.